Spawning stuff and destroying it is fine, but if you're going to spawn and destroy a lot of things, an easy optimization is object pooling. You basically make the objects, keep them in a data structure that suits your needs, and mark them as active or inactive. When you want to spawn something, you take an inactive object, activate it and remove it from the data structure. When you want to destroy one, you mark it as inactive and add it back to your data structure. This applies to enemies and projectiles, and now I'm going to explain how each of them works, starting with the projectiles. There is a timer-like check, which acts like the fire rate of a weapon. The spawn point circles around the player, remaining relative to its position. When the player triggers the firing input, bullets fly toward the cursor at a slightly random angle. The bullets are wired up to a collision system that uses sweep and prune as an optimization. I'd like to keep the video short, so if you are curious, there are links in the description that will explain that particular algorithm. Onwards with the bullets. There are three ways to make a bullet explode. First of all, every bullet has a timer component that activates their destruction after a certain amount of time. Second of all, when a bullet collides with another, both of them will explode. Lastly, there is the instance when a bullet hits an enemy, the bullet explodes, and the enemy takes damage or dies if his HP reaches zero. Of course, there is the math behind the bounce reflection thingy. In the short version, you take the direction and the normal surface vector, make a projection onto the normal and double it. Finally, subtract that from the original direction. The long version is in the description. Enemies are slightly more complicated. They come in waves and can be spawned in the four corners of the map. There are different types of enemies, but in essence, they all try to get close to the player's position and kill him. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's it. That's spawning, yo!